Good morning, class. The topic of our going to discuss today is uses of pronouns. But before that, let me ask you, how are you today? Are you feeling good or are you feeling bad? Thank you for your responses. I am happy that all of you are good today. So, let's start our discussion. Uses of pronouns. Pronouns can be used as subjects. The subject pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, they. So, pronouns replaces the noun as subject of the sentence or the clause. So, here, the pronouns will be used as the subject of the sentence, which is who plus verb. For example, I like mangoes. I is a pronoun, which is the subject, and like is the verb. Therefore, the subject of the sentence is I. Then, yeah, let's read the next example. Thank you, Leia. So, she watered the plants. She is a pronoun, which is the subject of the sentence, and watered is a verb. Therefore, the subject of the sentence is she. He loves the shoes. He is a pronoun, which is used the subject of the sentence, and love is a verb, which is the subject of the sentence is he. Did you guys get a class? Okay, let's proceed to the next. Pronouns can be used as objects of the verb. Here, the pronouns are me, you, which is singular, him, her, it, is, you, which is plural, and then. So, pronouns should be used as object of the verb. For example, the doctor talked me. Me is a pronoun which is used as object of the verb talk. Lara, please read the next example. Thank you, Lara. My friend left him. He is a pronoun which is used as object of the verb left. Did you guys that? Do you have a question? Okay, let's proceed to the next. Pronouns can be used after the verb form to be. Verb form to be where following. Is, are, was, where, be, been, being, will be. Challenge these written examples. Thank you, Challenge. So, first example is, it was her. Her is a pronoun which is used after the verb form to be, which is was. Another example is, it is he. He is a pronoun which is used after the verb form to be, which is, is. Are you clear, guys? Do you have a question? Okay, next is, pronouns can be used after preposition. So, for example, I want to travel with them. With is a preposition here, and them is a, is a pronoun which is used after the preposition Read. Another example is, she talk about you. So here the preposition is about, and you is a pronoun which is used after the preposition which is about. You got it, class? Okay, let's proceed to the next. Pronouns can be used as indirect objects. So when we say indirect object, it is the recipient of the object. For example, I sent him a letter. So here, him is the indirect object of the verb sent, which is the recipient of a letter and which is the direct object. Did you guys that? Another example is, Chick gave me some cereal. So me or I is the indirect object of the verb that a uh, gave which is the gave gave is the recipient of cereal which is the direct object. Cereal is the direct object here, so you got that? 
you have a question? Okay, let's proceed to the next. Pronouns can be used before nouns to show possession. Here are the possessive pronouns that are used before nouns. My, your, his, her, it, our, which is singular, our, your, their, which is plural. So here the pronouns will be used uh, before nouns to show possession. For example, this is my cookie. My is a word that shows possessiveness to the to the word noun cookie, which this is said that it is said that this is my cookie. Did you understand, class? Okay, another example is this is her table. Her is a pronoun which is used before the noun table. And it is said that this is her table, which shows the possession. Did you guys class? Did you understand? Okay, let's proceed to the next. The next is cases of pronouns. Case is the form of a noun or pronoun that shows the case in sentence. There are three cases. Subjective or nominative, objective, and possessive. Subjective or nominative case, the pronoun used as a subject of sentence. For example, I have a big chocolate bar. So here, I is the pronoun, and it, and it is in a nominative case because it is the subject of the sentence. Did you guys that? Okay, yeah, yes, this is an example. Okay, think Leia. She has a bug. She is in a nominative case because it is subject of the sentence. Just stop. This is an example. Thank you, Joshua. We could have a party. We is in a nominative case because it is a subject of the sentence. Are you clear, class? Do you have a question? Okay, let's proceed to the next. Subjective or nominative case, the pronoun used as subject complement. Subject complement completes the subject. So, for example, it was you. You is the subject complement here. Next is, the villain in the novel is he. He is the subject complement here. Did you understand, class? Okay, let's proceed to the next. Objective key. The pronoun is used as a direct object, and indirect object are the object of preposition. So when we say direct object, it is the receiver of the action. For example, do you like him? Him is a direct object of the verb like. So he is the object case version of he. Another example is Patrick drove her to school this morning. Her is the direct object of the verb drove and her is the object case version of she. Did you understand class? Okay, let's proceed to the indirect object. Objective case function as indirect object. So when we say indirect object, it is the recipient of the direct object. So for example, I wrote him a letter. So him is the indirect object of the verb wrote, and it is the recipient of a letter which is the direct object. So him is the objective case version of he. Another example is Bianca baked them cake. So here, them is the indirect object of the verb bake, and it is the recipient of cake, which is the direct object. So them is the objective case version of they. Did you understand that? Do you have a question? Okay, let's proceed to the next. Objective case. The pronoun function is an object of preposition. For example, it is the present from them. 
So then is the object of the preposition from, and then is the object case version of they. Did you understand that? So next is, the work was easy for her. From this example, her is the object of the preposition for, and her is the objective case version of she. Did you understand? You have a question? Okay. The last is possessive case. Possessive case is the pronoun shows ownership or possession. There are two types of possessive pronouns. These are used before not, and these alone are independent possessive pronouns. So under the, the used before not, these are the pronouns. My, your, his, her, it, our, and their. Under the use alone, these are the pronouns. Mine, yours, his, hers, ours, their. For example, my pencil fell on the floor. My is a special pronoun here, which is modified the noun pencil so that it becomes adjective. The next is the gift is mine. Mine is a possessive pronoun which is can stand alone so that it can be the pronoun. So note, there are no apostrophes in the possessive pronoun. So class, did you understand? Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. And I hope that you have learned a lot from me.